Well, we've already seen them uh, in acoustic action already, so let us hear what their voices sound like in regular speech. This is Gary and Mark, and they are our session band. They are Mr Baker. Guys, welcome Hello. to Raw. Hello. Hello. Um, first things first, um, you've been together for almost um, a year. Yeah. I, I'm just uh, rearranging the furniture. It's, it's an aesthetic man of many um, talents. Where did you kind of meet? On the road, wasn't it? Yeah, but Mark, yeah. Mark used to tour manage my, my old band. Which, who were called... Which uh, were called Ballroom. Ballroom. And, um, yeah, we but just... It's quite funny, because it, I, I met him about three years ago, when they were, what you'd spend four to five years with. Mm, yeah. Two shows, and then I went off to America with my own band and left for about 18 months, and then I came back, met Gary again, and sort of like we had... Who were Mexico 70, yeah, I believe. Yeah, the, yeah. What was it like over in the States, touring with her? Yeah, it was brilliant. It was, uh, we did 90,000 miles and did every state, bar two. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, uh, like, like, just, like, loads of mad road stories. I, I really, like, would like to do that one again. Yeah. With, with Mr. Baker. Well, why, why, why did you kind of leave your respective bands? Did they just kind of... It just, you know... Cough and splutter. Some, you know, it just takes its course, really. Mm -hmm. You know, you just got to decide. It's just a case of waking up one day and thought, no. Yeah, and we were working together anyway, so... Indeed, yeah. We so thought what we were doing was a lot better, so... So, well, so what, what kind of thing are you doing? You're kind of quite acoustic. Yeah, well, from what you heard, yeah, mm. today... But um, we were going on a sort of a sort of early 70s Elton John vibe, is mm -hmm. that tip? You, 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 you know, you've got some kind of, you know, some influences that I suppose that they aren't particularly sort of good currency mm. if you live in a world of dazed and confused in the face, sure. you know. Um, who are your kind of, you know, main influences? It's, I mean, we're, it's a mixed bag, really, isn't so it? I mean, really I, like, I do like... like, like well, yeah, I mean, it's always hard because you take, you take a little bit from everything you hear, don't yeah, you? I mean, indeed, whether it's good yeah. or bad. But. I mean, I love everything from, from Elton John to Al Stewart. Mm -hmm. To like Human League, mm -hmm. which apparently the eighties are coming back. So unfortunately, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's so. going to be uh, everything comes back. He's raging my dad's wardrobe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how do you kind of write your songs? Is is it kind of w with a kind of retro feel in mind? Or? Well, it's always. I mean, we always we've always written stuff that we actually like. I mean, that's that's an obvious thing to say, but mm -hmm. you know, we do really love the stuff we write. So mm -hmm. it always seems quite natural. It's done it? like we sketch them out first, like in one of our flats, and mm -hmm. just. I mean, there's no kind of agenda when we start. I mean, there's a germ of an idea. Mm. And it just, you know, it's the, it's the classic how do you write a song where, you know, just get an idea and off you go, don't you? Yeah. It's like, so. do, do, you, do you sort of share songwriting duties or is yeah, it definitely. Definitely. Yeah, collaboration? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. definitely. And do, what, what instruments do you each play? Um, I play piano. Uh-huh. Uh Guitars. Uh-huh. Do you, do, you, do you feel like that kind of limits you to the amount of sort of things you can do with just sort of the two of you? Are you going to be not, looking not to kind of... I mean, most songs, you know, are written either on piano and, and guitar, and you can tell, you know, a lot of what Elton John did. You, know, mm -hmm. you can tell whether a song's been written on piano or guitar. Mm -hmm. So the mix is quite good, you know. Do you not feel that, that you will have to kind of expand at some point just to kind of... Yeah, we've got we've got band around it you know, uh -huh. at the moment. Just like got... it's full production when the singles get done. You know, sure, it's, not, yeah, you know, it's, it's a full-on jobby. Yeah, I've got, I've got you, I've got you. And you've, you've already released one single. Mm -hmm. came out this week, last month, uh -huh. or Monday, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. What's that been like? Uh, have you sort of been around having a look at the shops where it's in? It's of? in, yeah, it's in. Yeah? yeah. It's, it's nice to have something out again. And you're going to ha have an EP again in, yeah, in September? We, um, yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, we're going to go and record that. Which are you sort of more pleased with? I, I imagine first single is always quite, you know, well, it's just quite a, good, but the EP it's is just a, you know, a sigh of relief, really. You've got uh -huh. the first one out of the way, so... Mm -hmm. You know, it tends to get easier from there. And that's full band production? Yeah, oh, we yes. take it. Uh, when you tour, I mean, I mean, are you thinking of touring? I, well, well, we're going to start in September. We're just going to do some... Um, we've got a residency in an acoustic club called the 12 Bar. Uh-huh. Which is like, what's that, Denmark? It's a the guitar Tim Pan Alley, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, what's the other one? Cashmere. You know, just, I, I, just take I it. I think we've actually got the dates coming yeah. up on uh, either, either in the last performance or this performance. So, mm -hmm. so people will be able to... Do, do you think it's a sort of good time, almost, to be doing kind of acoustic music? Well... Um, I think, you know, a, a good song you can play and any, either big production or acoustically, you know, that's, that's sure. a test of a good song. So, so why did so, you take up an acoustic residency? Um, because we're just, I mean, just to ease ourselves into it, really, because we've never played live together before. Uh -huh. And, you know, we just want to get, a, you know, give them a taster, really. Mm -hmm. you know? And build it up. So and then are you kind of ready for it? Well, you're playing straight. with your pants down, aren't you? When yeah. You, when you're acoustic, when absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, definitely. You, know. you get you get one note wrong, and it's going to oh, yeah. it's going to be you know you, you can't cover that, yeah. I suppose. And, and like, and like Gary said, you know, it's, the proof is of the song is actually in. I mean, it doesn't matter whether you've got production or whatever. If it's a good song, it'll, it'll carry. Uh huh. Uh huh. And uh, are you are you all sort of prepared? Because I suppose I suppose some of the songs, even though they must be you know, I, I imagine quite old <laughs> for you guys, having done them so often. Mm. Do you think you're kind of 
actually ready to perform kind oh, of now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but we're quite eager to go, really, aren't Indeed, we? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, been, it's been like quite, uh, what's it been for me, sort of like 11 months since I... Really? Since I played like yeah. Getting the itch. Oh, so, definitely, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Well, well, thanks for coming in, guys. And that thanks itch is going to turn into an absolute pain now because you're going to have to watch yourselves oh, doing yeah. performance, which is going to be a killer. Uh, this is your track. I'm sure you know it very well. It's called Talk All Night. Super.